So I think I'm gonna give this thing to Daryl and not tell him it's AliExpress. So he knows damn well neither one of us could afford a bongo base. <laughs> so we'll see what he says. So, uh, what are your first impressions of the new bass? I, I like it. I'm be honest with you. I'm a huge uh, music man uh, fan. Uh, I like these style of humbuckers, and it just looks real nice, black and white. Uh, plays real nice. Uh, the action is rather pretty, pretty good. Uh, this is just factory. So yeah, we have done anything. To it, it could be better, obviously. Uh, anything can always be better. Uh, the white finish is glossy. I like it. It has some pretty sweet curves here. Um, you know, the recessed knobs, if you can see it. Um, very simple pick guard, very simple uh, bridge. And then, uh, you know, your tuners. I like them. They're a little bit more semi gloss more than anything. And they got these big, thick gears, which I like. I think it helps keep the tuning really well. So, overall, not bad for a Chinese bass, huh? What? <laughs> I mean, an American-made music man bongo totally not ripoff bass. What? <laughs> no, it is true. Um, it's a uh, knockoff. Uh, here's the backside. As you can see, it's a music man. Um, and in Chin, I'm assuming that's supposed to be a division, but it says Ad Ensign of Ernie Ball. At least I got that right. It's made in San Luis Obispo. Does that for real say Ad Ensign? Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I'm sure it's supposed to be a division. And it's out of California, USA, which obviously is a straight factory. But you know, what's the best part is obviously it says Bongo. Um, I mean, they have Music Man and the trademark to let you know that they definitely ripped off the trademark. Um, but, I mean, you know. It's awesome, you know, you got your dual 9 volts for, um, what I'm being told is you got a 9 volt power or you can have 18 volt power. Um, I mean, even though it's a Chinese knockoff, it's actually really, really good. Um, the pickups I was expecting to be horrible. The only problem is, is when you go to the middle here, which I'm assuming is a pickup selector, which we're not 100% sure, but you can hear a hum, and if I take my fingers off the strings, there you go. Yeah. So you can hear it. It's got a grounding issue. I mean, unless that's some weird series split wiring or something they got when you turn it that way for yeah. different tonal options. I don't know. I haven't looked at the wiring yet. I mean, you know, if you keep your fingers on it, don't ever take them off, you're good. Which is good, you know. Well, like I said, you know. It sounds really good. I just, I just like these big ass soap bar pickups. And, you know, you got your Canon Jack. And it actually feels pretty solid. Yeah, and it's got those, as you, if you can see it, the half moon shapes there, the crescents. I think that's what they're called, crescents, in the pieces. Uh, you know, obviously, you can tell there's a little bit of craftsmanship that should be done, but, you know, well, we ain't too bad. Off. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and again, you know, we're not talking about a $3,000 base. We're talking about, so it'll probably cost a tenth of that. But, needless to say, it plays great, it sounds great, and... Really, with the expertise that Richard has, we could easily probably make this sound like a $3,000 bass or get close enough anyway that uh, it's fine and nobody will even notice. Um, and like I said, this is just a nice guitar. And I can't say enough about it. You know, truss rods at the very bottom. I don't know what the scale is. What's the scale on this thing? 34. 34. So it's kind of like your standard longer scale. Yeah. The ne neck is thick as all get out, but still ain't too bad. I mean, as long as you're not playing like this, you're, you know, you're good, but, you know. It sounds good, plays good, you know, just is good, you know, no I'm team, uh, but there is me, uh, but. Uh, and a meat. And an am. And an at. And ta. And a met. And a tam. Uh, but and a mat. And I think there's a meat. Did you yeah, say meat? Said meat. Yeah. Okay. 
And All right, so we're done with that joke. In a meadow. <laughs> and at me. Why don't we just Google it and then Come just at read me. It. <laughs> Come at me, team. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just, I'll, I'll worry about me. Uh, <laughs> but uh, like I said, the Chinese ripoff looks really good, though. It plays really good. It sounds really good. But, you know, the price doesn't, it doesn't matter to me. I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, Music Man, you know, you need to pay $3,000 because that's, you know, better quality stuff. But at a tenth of the price, I can have ten of them and damage the living bejesus out of them. And then still have, like, get rid of this one, still have nine more in the waiting. So, I mean. I, I think, I don't know where you stand, but I think I would recommend that somebody. I think I would recommend to somebody who's who's wants a decent fun bass to play that looks like a bass that costs a shit ton of money. Somebody who wants a decent bass starting out or whatever, I think I'd recommend it actually. And yeah. I never thought I'd say that about an AliExpress bass. Well, so. again, you know, if you're starting out though, you want to start with something cheap because if you don't like it or you hate it, at least you only spend a little bit of money. You didn't go in and, and spend a lot of money and invest a lot because you're not going to get a lot in return, period. Um, so. I mean, something like this, if you like this style and stuff like that, you know, it would be worth it if you want something that's a $3,000 base, but in a Chinese knockoff that, I, mean, I can guarantee I can take this to a show, everybody would be like, oh my god. But you can see, obviously, because it's an uh, end Asian ensign of Ernie Ball, you know, not a division, it's just an adson, uh, you know. Most people wouldn't notice that too much. So, you know, this is bought for Daryl to play and enjoy and have fun with. This isn't bought for us to be buttholes and try to resell. I think if you buy these bit, these types of instruments from overseas and try to resell them, then you're a jackass. Yeah. You know, and mm. usually you'll get busted too because the, the guitar community is real good about busting people trying to do that kind of thing. And I mean, you know, just truthfully, I've seen a lot where the Chinese knockoffs do that, where they can't spell certain words. If this was Music Man, I'm spending three thousand dollars. It better say a division, even if this petty as hell. It better say a division of an earning ball. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> but overall, you happy with it? Yeah, I think it's good. Cool. I'm not gonna sell it. Well, we'll do a more in-depth review of this later on, and uh, you'll you'll see it again. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.